Well, I ain't even started filming today, and I am already soaked through in sweat. I just tried to get everything ready to make today's video, and I'm already completely soaked. It's going to be another hot day out here today. And in today's video, we're going to be cleaning up the property. So we had, one of our goals this year was to clean up all the junk on the property. We had torn down seven buildings, and we had all this metal that was piled up on the property. Well, we found a guy who would come and get that metal and collect it. So we had two of the piles we had on these grain bin pads. So you can see this is where this is where a grain bin was. And then back there, that was where a grain bin was as well. And these were just piled full of metal. And you can see it's pretty much all empty. He's come and taken several loads, probably close to 10 loads of metal. He's probably taken off the property. And then back in here, there is uh, was the third pile of metal, and he's pretty much picked that up as well. So I have more metal and trash that was left on this property than what we have piled up. So today we're going to go kind of pick up some of the other junk that's around the property. We're going to get it piled up here so he can come back and get the rest of all this metal. So we've got, we've got a little bit of metal back, back here that's grown around a tree. We need to cut down a tree to get that metal out. We've got some metal pipes that are back in here. So we're gonna go get all them metal pipes. They're kind of down in the ground. So we're gonna use the tractor. We're gonna dig those metal pipes out of the ground. There's a hog feeder back in the woods back there too. I may try to drag that hog feeder out. And then, then up toward the front of the property, it's gonna be hard for me to find, down at the front of the property, kind of back in here somewhere, there's a bushy spot and there is a metal building on the inside. And there's got bushes all the way around it. You can't hardly see that metal building there. So we may have to cut some of that brush away. We're gonna we're gonna tear that metal building down and we're gonna get it moved out here too. So basically this is a cleanup day and we're gonna see how much more metal we can find on this property to pile up uh, for the guy to come and scrap. So over here is where our third pile of metal was and you can see this big bare spot from where all the metal was piled. So he's left a couple of um, tanks here so he can't take those into scrapping unless they got holes in them so i made sure they're empty i shot a couple bullet holes in them so they're ready to go i uh over here we got some metal that he's left because it's grown around a tree so you can see this looks like some kind of weird weird hitch or something and the tree is grown right through it but if we look up at this tree you can see that tree is pretty much dead so we're going to go ahead and we'll cut that tree down and get that metal out and see if we can find any more metal in here. Obviously we got one more tire here, always finding old tires around here. So I'm over here on the east side of the property now, so straight down that way right there, that is the bank barn back there, so straight east of the bank barn. And in here in these trees, this used to be like an old hog pen, I think, because we got some little metal huts that are falling down. There's like a building over there that's falling down. And this had a fence line that ran right down this way. You can still see fence posts going down that way. Well, right here along this fence line, right through here, there are metal posts in the ground. They had stacked up metal posts here at one point in time, and they're all covered up with leaves. You can't really see them, but there is several heavy metal posts in here. Um, I've thought maybe that this is something that I could utilize and maybe even try to make a fence out of, but uh, this stuff's been laying here for quite a long time, and I think I'm just going to 
opt to get rid of it. So I'm going to pull this out today and stack this up for that guy to come and get. So I'm going to use the tractor best I can. I'm going to try to use the tractor. We're going to try to get our forks in here. Maybe try to lift some of these pipes out of the ground, break them loose, and then get all these pipes out of here. So you ain't going to be able to tell how many pipes are in here still till we start digging. Well, that ended up being quite a workout. There was quite a bit of metal, more metal there than I probably thought there was actually going to be. I don't know if you can see all the metal that ended up being just in that little section over there. Some of these, some of these pipes are probably 20 foot long pipes, and um, the condition of them is probably a little bit iffy. Uh, some of them actually have holes already rusted through them and stuff, so nothing i don't think i want to keep around and use i'll just i'll be happy for somebody to come and just take this away one of the neat things we found was there was an old there was an old well pump like a hand well pump right here that was laying in there but the very top of that pump very top of that pump where the cast where it's cast and the handle is the cast part of that handle and everything was broken so not worth trying to mess with but uh old antique things like that I find kind of neat it's too bad that one was broken but uh, I'm gonna leave this pile in this location hopefully he'll just be able to back his trailer right down here and come and pick this metal up so I'm just I've got it dug out and I've got it in a pile for him where he can find it and uh, I'm just gonna leave it here so next I'm gonna move up to the front I'm gonna find that uh, metal shed it's got brush all the way around it it's really hard to see may have to clear a little bit of brush out Probably take the tractor or something, see if we can smash this shed in, see if we can get it torn apart and pile all that metal up uh, on the pile, one of the piles, so that he can pick that up as well. So I'm at the front of the property now with the shed that we're going to tear down. What's wrong? Can't see it? Behind all this brush right here, this big bush. See if we can walk around and find it. So there it is. There's this little metal shed. Probably about an 8x8 eight eight metal shed sitting on a concrete pad that I want to tear up and throw this scrap metal on the pile with everything else. So um, it's sitting on this concrete pad. There may be some stuff in here I need to tear out. It may be kind of attached to that concrete pad somehow, but I'm not sure which is the best way to tear this thing down. But I'm thinking, thinking maybe just taking the forks of the tractor. Let's see if we can poke a hole through the side of this thing and just rip it right off. I don't know. Probably not the best way, but I'm I'm sure it's going to be the funnest way to try to tear this thing down. So let's jump in the tractor. Let's see if we can rip this building out of here.
be a lot funner if I had a grapple on the tractor and I could just like big claw, you know, you grab it with. Or if you have one of those destruction ball things. <laughs> your, your technical speak is amazing. Oh, I know why everything's breaking today on me. Why is that? It's Friday the 13th. It Friday and it's the a full moon tonight. Ooh, double jeopardy. I know, it's a good thing I'm not working. See, it's not all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta think that that's just a rare talent. <laughs> Not everybody can touch things when they break or break things when they touch them. I can't even talk today. That's why I married you. So I can fix everything. I needed somebody to fix everything I break. <laughs> you knew I like to fix things and you knew you'd give me purpose. That's how we met. Yeah. How we met. <laughs> I used to have to fix your broken down foot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we're in the pig pen now, and we've noticed there's some stuff in here the pigs have been digging up. So we're going to see what this stuff is. It's, it's made out of metal. what it is. Ugh. Some piece of equipment. Oh, look out, pig. <laughs> Pigs are curious too. the one chain that grew in the around a tree the pigs dug all that up and found it no idea what that is <laughs> who knows so all this scrap metal that piles that we've had sitting around here they have been plaguing us for a while we tore down most of the buildings on this property in 2016 and we piled up all that metal. It has been piled around here. Uh, my father-in-law, I mean, he was, he was, uh, I was really grateful to him. He hauled off like seven loads of metal back when we were tearing down and cleaning this property up. But we still ended up had like three piles here of metal that's kind of been sitting around here. And uh, I was glad we found somebody to come and take it all away. And that was one of our goals this year was to get all this metal out of here. So I was happy today uh, to go get and drag more metal out because even though it, you know we had piles up we still have metal laying around this property so we got that metal all that pipes and stuff we got that drug out of there there's more pipes and stuff in there than i thought there was got that kind of piled up so he can haul that away and then we've got some other metal and we've got that building torn down the front i'm glad to get that thing out of there get that got that piled up so he can take that out so as soon as he comes back i'll get a hold of him as soon as he comes back in a week or two hauls all this off that's going to be one more goal off the list this year so i think that's fantastic um i'm be glad you know all this metal is gone and everything looks a lot nicer and neater so anyway i think i think i am spent for the day i am worn out so that was a lot of work uh, i'm gonna go ahead and head inside and call the day thanks for watching hope you guys have a great day see you in the next one